Hey everyone, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how to create this liquid flowing effect inside of After Effects. It's very easy to create so without wasting any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so right now I am in After Effects and as you can see that I have already opened up the project file. So now I am going to break it down how I created this effect and if you want you can follow along to get this same kind of look. Also the project files for this one is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because there are tons of templates and project files that are available exclusively on Patreon. So link for that is in the description below. So now let's jump and see how I created this effect. So over here we have two compositions. So first one is media. It is simply a composition where I added a text layer, which is water. So in the second comp, which is this liquid effect, I simply imported the media composition like this and also I added a solid layer so you can add the solid by simply going to layer new solid and on this solid layer I added a effect called fractal noise so let me just solo this layer so we can see what is going on here so I added a fractal noise and these are the settings that I use so I changed the fractal type to basic which is by default and set the noise to soft linear you can change it to whatever you want but for this type of look we are going to choose the soft linear and set the contrast to quite high something like 900 or 1000 we want this to be extremely contrasty if that's a word so set the brightness to zero as you can see if you want less liquid you can increase its value but for this one we are going to set it to zero after that i uncheck this uniform scaling parameter and set the width and height to 170 if you want you can play around with the height and width value you can change the look of your liquid something like this so if i remove this here you can see you can elongate the liquid in the y axis also you can elongate in the x axis so this is pretty much however you want to go for so let's set it back to 170 and after that i change the complexity to 1.4 so if i again remove this layer and if i increase the complexity you can see the details in the liquid will increase if i set it to 5 here you can see we have more kind of distortion so you can set it to something like 1.4 and the all the things are pretty much default so i also added keyframes to these two properties so if i open up here are the keyframes so i simply animated the evolution so it is starting from zero and it goes to two cycles and also i added some animation to the offset so this offset basically defines the flow of your liquid so i give it a downward motion something like this so if i play back here you can see that the animation is moving down and if you want you can change it and you can make the flow to go into any other direction so if you want to move it to left side you can just simply increase the offset something like this you can also make it to go up, upward something like this but for this one we are going to make it go down so these are the pretty much settings that I use for the solid layer. So now if I go back to media, here you can see I added two effects. First is the vector blur. So if I solo this effect and here are some of the settings that I use. So the first thing is the type of, which is directional fading. So make sure you are choosing this one because this will give you a really nice kind of look. And over here you can see we have the amount parameter. So this amount tells how much of liquid you want to see in the scene so for example if i set this to really high something like 500 so you can see that it is showing all the liquid that is on to the screen but it does not look quite nice so if you want you can go with this look but that's completely up to you so you can set this value to something between 100 and 200 which looks fine so i set it to 130 now the angle is I set it to zero so if you want you can just simply change the angle as you can see that it changed the lighting but for this one we are going to set it to zero and the revolution if you increase this value you can see it adds more details to these but it changed the look of the liquid so we are not going to play around with this value again if you want to go for a particular look you can play around with these parameters but for this one we are going to set it to one now the most important thing is the vector map so remember we created this solid now we are going to use this solid to create uh, this kind of effect so i set this value to solid which is our solid we just created and we i set this source to effects and mask 
so since we are added since we have added some effects to this layer so we are going to select the effects and mask and after that we have the map softness so now this parameters define is how much you want the softness in the liquid so if you can see i have increased the value quite a bit so you can see now it is kind of faded and it is not uh, liquid kind of looking but if you want to go with this look this is how you can do it and if i set it to something really low like this here you can see that now the edges have shrink and it gives more of a refined edges so here you can see now the edges are more defined but for this one let's set it to 20 something like this also on top of it i added a compound blur now reason for adding this effect is because here you can see we have some really sharp lines so here you can see we have really sharp line so i just simply added this effect and here you can see that it simply blends those edges and for this one also i am using the same solid layer and change it to effects and mask and for the blurs amount you can change it to something like two or four something like this so if you overdo it you get something this kind of look which is not quite of liquid like but if again if you want to go with this look you can just simply change it to this so this is pretty much how i created this kind of effect now here is a cool thing since we added it into a separate media com so you can just simply change it to whatever you want and if you go back it will add your text or whatever you have also if you want you can import your video so for example i have this video over here and if i import it into this composition and if i go back here you can see now our video has this liquid kind of effect now you might run into one problem here you can see where we have this liquid effect you can see it is kind of blurry which is exactly what we want but the places where we don't have liquid it these are also blurry so in order to fix that here is a small tip all you have to do is just simply select the media com just duplicate it by pressing ctrl t from this one we are going to remove all the effects we don't need them and you can select this black solid layer and i'm going to duplicate it and just place it on top of the media layer now you can set the track mat if you're not able to see the track mat option just simply click over here and you can set the track mat to luma inverted so what it will do is wherever you can see uh, in the solid we have these dark area it will make the footage appear from that which is exactly what we want and all the other areas which are white it will remove them and just simply show the effect that is below it so this is how uh, you can create this kind of effect again since this is a video and it is quite big you can play around with the values of the liquid you can also increase the brightness if you want and it will kind of fade out this effect and you can play around with the value of liquid so you can make it something like this quite a big and now if i play back here you can see we have made all the changes so this is very nice you can use it on different text or logos whatever you want and you can get some really nice liquid looking effect so this is how you can create this effect again the project files are available on patreon so if, if you want you can join my patreon page and download the project files so with that being said this is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one